Welcome back. Um, no more just jobs quite at the moment. Might be a couple more coming up, but at the moment uh, we can get back on with the pom-pom. Um, let's just show you where we're at. So we've had it running on air already. So I've flipped it over and I now just need to reattach all of the brake rigging and all of that gear so that the chassis is then finished bar paint uh, and then we can get on with with some other bits which I will show you shortly so all the brake rigging is back on the engine as is the drive for the drain cocks which runs on top of the frame here is a little bracket there and there that hold it in place as well as a little bracket that goes onto the keep but an issue I'm having, as I operate it, this mechanism here, there's a lot going on. So it's pivoted off of here and then uh, pulls on to so the drive pulls here. So you don't get much movement on the lever, it pulls that. But what I'm finding is where there's a bit of flop in this and it can go it can twist in relation to that the right hand side drain cock is pulling a bit further and it's jamming this goes past the horizontal when the left hand side hasn't come as far like that so what i'm going to do is figure out the angle this wants to be at to be square i'm going to lock up that nut so that it holds it and then i might even take it uh, to the welder and just put a little tack of weld in there to stop it from twisting in future then they'll pull nice and evenly both sides without the twist. So we'll give that a go. As if by magic, that now works lovely with no problems. Now, as far as I can see, I've got no more bits of chassis waiting. Everything that's left is be painted or bodywork. So, on to touching up the bodywork. Now, when I was taking the engine apart, these window frames were just glued on. So they're going to get soldered onto the cab, which I've taken to the other room because I've got a couple of other jobs to do to it too. Let's take a look. So, on the cab, while I was um, de-painting, unpainting. Uh, this half of the window frame came off and obviously these two came off as well. So they need to work out which side is which go on there. I will solder them on and then once I've painted it, I can scrape the paint off of there to tidy them up, to leave them as brass frames, or I can leave them painted. We'll see what Rory wants. Also, the line of the rain strip is different to the line of the cab. Uh, at the moment, the cab's not sitting straight, but I intend to place a piece in there to tidy that up, uh, solder it in, clean it up and file it back so that it looks like it was never missing. And when you look at it from the other side, over here it sits proud of the rain strip and there it's shy. So I'm going to file that back to the rain strip and find a piece of something to put in there and solder in and then the whole thing will get soldered together so there isn't 
this gap that appears in between. So I'll clamp that and solder it. Whether it's today or tomorrow or another day, we'll see. So I'm going to tackle this area first and solder this whole edge as the first job. So I'll give it a good clean up and then there's something to lay in here. I'm going to put this bit of round brass in, solder it in place and then that will hold the solder in, in there and then I can file it down afterwards. I bought recently a pack of these little clips, quite strong, but if you take the rubber off the tips they make quite good handy little clamps. They're, they've got a reasonable amount of strength to them until they've been heated up a few times. Uh, I think I did some silver soldering with this with one of them, not with this one. Yeah. And it doesn't quite close up anymore, but they do do well for soft soldering. So what I'll do, I'll use these. Oh, there's the there's the mangled one. But I will soft solder these this all in place using these to clamp. So I tend to use this soft solder paste, this little paint. Paint it on and then as you solder it, as you heat it up, it melts, it solders, but I do add extra solder as well wherever I've put that. Some there, some others around that's not quite so big. Um, but this is a fantastic flux. So regardless of what I'm doing, I always use that and then add more and that's a really good flux. So we're gonna flux this up, lay the bit of brass in, giving it a bit of a clean as you can see with a bit of wire wool. Lay the extra bit of brass in, clamp it up and have a little solder for which I have a selection of soldering torches. That's going to be a bit on the brutal side for what we're doing. We may even get it all done with this little one. Uh, but if that's not quite enough then I might move up to this one. So there it is ready to be soldered. I might put another clamp up here actually. Just to get that one. Just to hold in case. Uh, I've got two different solders, both soft solder, but one's bigger than the other for if I need to add lots in. So I'll probably use this to begin with, and then if I just need to build up a bit of size, add a bit of that one. that was that you saw me turn it over during the soldering process so that i could just float some solder into the top there to act as a filler uh, so the next stage will be let it cool down and then just file it down until it's the height of the copper uh, rain strip that's on the inside so that will be that. That's the next stage. Well that's getting there. Started around here, got most of the way, just a little bit more to go. Some of the round bars started to come down, a little bit more to go around here. Tiny bit there, not really started there yet. But I must have some dinner, I'll be back after. And there we go. 
yes it needs a little bit of tidying up um, so that should be the file so far it will get uh, some emery paper down as well but as you can see a much better fit and that looks a lot tidier I just need to sort out the windows now I think a couple of bits came off while I was turning things over and clamping the vise so yeah we'll get this get these tidied up hence I didn't want to go too far with this because it's runs the risk of getting melted and damaged again so yeah that's that's that it um, didn't take too long so as it happens after I came back from dinner uh, I decided to rather than use the first file that came to hand which was the one that I was using before I went to dinner I would look for a much better file and the one I found was a lot better so it went a lot quicker and a lot easier um, even though it was a finer file it cut a lot nicer but yes that's that's done um, I can only work with what's already there I'm not convinced it's quite the right shape however it is what it is I can't change well I could start from scratch but I need to bear in mind that the whole point of this was to help out a friend quick repaint and then discovered the uh, crank axle issue so sort the crank axle out um, but yeah we're getting there and it will soon go back together um, so short of building a new cab for it that is what it's going to be but so for now uh, thanks for watching I hope some of what I've done has been useful um, I hope you've enjoyed it so thanks very much thanks for watching and I will catch you next time